Hello nonfiction and STEM fans, this is Kirsten Larson, author of Woodwire Wings, Emma Lillian Todd in Vincent Airplane, with another nonfiction or STEM book review. And tomorrow, uh, today, tomorrow, I might be reviewing more books tomorrow, uh, but today I am looking at Annette Whipple's uh, latest book, Who Knew the Truth About Owls. Um, and this book is really special. It's illustrated with a lot of fabulous um, photos of these image of owls. They're just beautiful images. I'm going to try to show you a few here on my iPad. Um, the thing I like about this book is that there are so many ways in for children of all ages. So each spread has um, a question. So for example, what's for dinner? I'm going to try to show you this one. Here's a spread. It says, what's for dinner? Um, and the cool thing is, if you have really young children, you could just read that question and then look at some of the pictures because look what's on a plate, a bunch of different creatures that an owl might eat. So if you have small children, you could just read this top level and ask them about what they see in the pictures. Um, for older kids, there is additional information about the types of things that owls eat, and there are pictures of different owls in the process. And then just to add um, an element of fun, there's a little um, cartoon picture of an owl who kind of has a sassy voice um, who shows up on each and every spread making little snide comments, which of course adds to all the fun. Um, so I personally find owls to be fascinating creatures and I could read about them um, all day. I recently reviewed um, Maria Gianferrari's uh, Huku, uh, a haiku book about owls, um, but I always think there's room in the market for more owl books and different takes on owl books. So for um, even the youngest preschool readers up through um, you know, elementary readers, this book would be fantastic. I know in my child's elementary school curriculum, um, I'm trying to remember if it was third grade or fourth grade, they actually um, got owl pellets and um, used colanders, wet them and, and got the bones and everything from an owl pellet and then sorted them and drew the skeletons. And there's a whole spread in this book about owl pellets and a guide to some different bones that you might find. Uh, based on different things that the owls have eaten. So um, Annette, I, I highly recommend um, this latest owl book, um, Who Knew from Annette Whipple.